Hi Virgo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your mid-month Angel Tarot and Angel Oracle reading for November 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my YouTube channel and for viewing, liking and sharing the videos. As you know, this is strictly a general reading, but if you'd like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I welcome you to go up there and press that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a Reiki session. I do want to let you know that I am running a two week sale right now and that for three questions I'm offering this for $40. So feel free to go to my website and get a hold of me should you want to have this reading and you will be saving money as you know and I'm only running it for two weeks which will bring us into approximately the 7th of November. So away we go Virgo. Let's look what our overall energy is here for the mid month. Well you've been given temperance or balance and this is all about you taking things easy, not jumping into any plans uh, or doing anything or getting involved in any event uh, in your life right now really fast. So it's about uh, you know putting together and blending together ideas and often it has to do with other people. So I do see when we do this and we're willing to make some compromises, we're willing to be cooperative uh, and we do things slowly and think about it, then it works for everybody's benefit. So this is all about doing things in moderation right now. Don't jump in too quick, okay? Like I say, into the quicksand and then you're trying to swim your way out. This is all about waiting for perfect timing. So let's go on to what is in your mind. Well, you've got the Queen of Earth. Okay, Earth cards often have to do with finances and this is all about uh, making time for other people around you though. This Queen is very thoughtful and she knows how to get what she wants by being kind and being cooperative and, and more understanding when it comes to dealing with people around you. So the Queen of Earth is, is this type of individual. She takes care of her court, she knows how to negotiate, she knows how to do this and she works on her gifts which is being kinder and more thoughtful and understanding and listening to other people's uh, thoughts and opinions and uh, the, the input that they're going to put into what you're dealing with in your life right now. Now if you're going to deal with any challenges, don't go in and deal with them being aggressive. Like this queen, it, they want you to be sensible and warm and thoughtful and kinder about it. Okay, So take a sensible approach uh, to those around you uh, in the mid-month. It can be people that you may have had a falling out with, there's been um, you know, a separation uh, there for a while and now you're getting back with these people, you've had time to look the situation over, to think about it and now you're going to go in and say, okay fine, let's get over this and let's move on again. Picking up the pieces. Now, what, what, what are you working towards? What are you working towards in mid-month? Well, you've got the King of Water, okay, and water cards are relationship cards and often, see if you can see that better, and often um, they don't have to be romantic but they can be romantic and intimate. And this one again, like the Queen of Earth, says that you're going to be opening your heart and your minds to those around you. So I do see some of you are dealing with people, okay? You're dealing with people closely linked to you and you're going to be opening your mind and your heart. Now, there's going to be somebody coming in that's going to be giving you some advice and this person is very wise and respected, okay? And But I want you to know they're also trustworthy. So whatever advice they're going to be giving you, Taurus, know that it's coming from their heart. It's heartfelt, okay? They're doing this because they want to truly help you and give you some advice that maybe you're going to be needing. Now I do see that some of you are actually going to be getting involved in paying it forward. I see some of you are going to be doing a charitable act. You're going to either get involved in some charity or you're going to be wanting to give to the less fortunate. I see that some of you are, um, you know, you may be cleaning out your closet and just giving to goodwill. Uh, simple things like that. But I do see some of you are thinking about doing a very kind charitable act. Now, let's see what's going to benefit you for the mid-month. Well, you've got the King of Air and Air cards can often have to do, uh, I've got the sunshine over, sun shining over here so I hope that you can see these cards. It, uh, it's beautiful to have the sun here but <laughs> sometimes it creates a glare. So you have been given the King of Air 
And again, air cards have to do often with legal situations, okay? It can have to do with dealing with judgment. It can have to do with having to make fair choices and decisions that are determined around people that may bring that into you. But I do see that if you are up having to defend yourself for anything, you're going to be able to speak your mind with confidence because it shows me that somebody is mentoring you. Someone is going to step forward. Perhaps you've retained someone to, to give you advice. Perhaps you've, mean, you, you, you know, you, you've, re, you've hired a lawyer or someone to give you professional advice. This is going to help you step up, okay? Um, I do see you're in the lead. Um, everybody else is behind you. You're going ahead. This is a beautiful card, and I see that you're moving forward in a forward direction. And they're trying to catch up to you, and they can't. So don't be concerned about the others that may be there judging you right now, because it looks like you've got control here, and that you're going to be able to step up and defend yourself very successfully. So if you're coming up to, uh, against any opposition mid-month, know that uh, someone's going to guide you through that. Someone's going to help you with with stepping up there and being able to speak your piece, and they've got your back. So what are your future opportunities for mid-month? Well, I see you have the four of air, or pardon me, the four of earth, not air, I'm sorry. So this is telling me that, you know, sometimes this is a two, this is a two message card, okay? It's about those being worried about money, and at the end of the month, because as fast as it comes in, it goes out, as fast as it comes in the door, it goes out the window. And it's all about just you being cautious about your money so that you're not running into financial problems. But it also shows me that sometimes you give 150% of your, your time to everybody else out there that approaches you for help or assistance. And that's the kind of person you are, Taurus. You step up, Virgo, pardon me. I don't know why I'm thinking Taurus, but I'm, it is definitely the Virgo reading, so I apologize for that. Um, you definitely step up, Virgo, when people need your help, and I do see that. But you have to think about yourself, because what's going to happen is you're going to, uh, you're going to um, you know, resent this, because you're not getting things done that you want to do. So it's okay, my friend, to say no. Now, as I said, this is a two-meaning card. Some of you go to work, you make your money, you put it in the bank, and you don't go anywhere. You don't have any fun, and you don't feel that you want to spend it on yourself or any little luxuries that you feel are frivolous. Well, you work hard, my friend, and you should once in a while treat yourself. Uh, it's not all work that we should live our life with. We have to go out there and live and be happy. So this tells me that some of you may be, um, you know, isolating yourself. You're staying in. You haven't been going out anywhere. Um, and you need to step out. People are wondering where this beautiful person is. They miss you. And they're, they're you know, wondering where you are. So get out there. Take a deep, beautiful, big, fresh breath of fresh air, my friend. And get out there and start living. Okay? So this is all about some of you may be giving too much of your time. And others of you uh, may not be getting out there enough and, and enjoying yourself with others. So, let's go on to how you feel about this situation. Well, you've been given the ten of fire. And perhaps what's going on is too much, okay? Too much work going on. Too many projects going on. Too many things going on right now. And you need to accept help from others. It looks like uh, that there's, there's a lot of things going on for some of you, and you're going to get tired again. Like I said, it's okay to say no. You can't do it all on your own. And this is pretty much a clarity card saying that. So please know that you can accept help from others. Go and ask them. I do see that there will be people that will step forward that you can allocate some of these jobs to so that you can get it done and you're not so stressed out. Look at this sun coming through my window. It's amazing. Um, so please know that you can ask for help because what happens is when you get that exhausted and you've got all these things going on at once, you're going to get out of balance. And when you get out of balance, it can lead to stress-related issues with your health. They can cause health concerns, and we don't want to see that happen, okay? So, Virgo, please know that help is out there. All you have to do, don't be proud. All you have to do is step up and say, I need help. I can't do all of this. So, let's see what the tarot says. What advice is the tarot giving you on that? So, you've been given the three of air, and the three of air, again, is about dealing with uh, people that create challenges in your life, and it can still have to do, for some of you, I get legal issues. And... There, there may have been a situation where you've been judged and judged, uh, uh, you know, unjustifiably. And it's made you very sad, okay? And you're hurt. And it shows me that some of you have been dealing with people or someone that has kind of done this to you. So it, you need to heal. And in order to heal, it's going to take time. But the only way you can heal... Uh, Virgo is if you learn to forgive and you may be having to forgive them or they may or you may be having to forgive yourself but whatever it is in this situation that you've had a problem with someone that has judged you wrongly 
please know take time okay take time to heal but realize the only way you're going to get through this is through forgiveness now let's see what your hopes and fears are well you've been given the night of water so your hopes are that you're going to meet your soulmate some of you are wanting to meet your soulmate wanting to meet your life partner wanting to meet your twin flame and i do see some of you some of you are are going to be getting a proposal of marriage some of you are going to meet someone and fall in love and i do see that this is coming into play i do see too also that if it isn't you getting this engagement if it isn't you being asked to get married or it isn't you that's actually falling in love you will be getting an invitation to go to a wedding or an event it's like this so i'm sorry about that it is three o'clock here and my husband's computer i didn't turn it off it tells him what time it is all day long it's crazy so i do see okay some of you will be falling in love some of you will be getting a wedding proposal and some of you will be getting an invitation to go to a wedding now Let's see what your results are here. Well, you've got a major card, my friend. This is beautiful. And this is the dreamer. And this is all about you knowing not to give up on your, on your pursuits, not to give up on your passion, not to give up on your dreams as this is. Some of you look at your dreams as a leap of faith and, oh, it's never going to happen. And how can I make this happen? Well, please, there could be some unexpected opportunities coming into you. That's what this dreamer is all about, that you're going to find the doors are going to open that you need to open, and maybe there's going to come in some financial resources that are going to help you make these dreams come true. So take that leap of faith. Don't be worried, because this shows me that you're going to be getting help here. You're going to be getting um, some assistance and some resources coming in that are going to help you make your dreams come to fruition. Now, at the end of the reading, I did incorporate one oracle card as well. And this is from the deck, Answers from Your Angels. And I tell people usually when I use this deck, that if there's a question that you have thrown out into the universe and divine source that you need a definite answer to, this is the card that usually comes up. And so this is the card for the all over energy here for the conclusion of this reading to tie it in. And you got, my friend, yes. So whatever question you were wanting an answer to, for some of you, it will be yes. It's pretty self-explanatory. I don't have to go into details with this card. There's only one yes and one no card in this entire Oracle deck. And you got yes, my friend. So, there, you know, I do see some money concerns here. I do see getting together with people that maybe you've had a falling out with and you're going to come back in together. I do see you've been judged. Okay, here, wrongfully judged, and you're going to have to stand up and defend yourself, but you're going to do it successfully. It's going to work out. Also, I see, you know, because of this possible, possible judgment that you've had placed upon you, it's going to take time for you to get over it, okay? So it's going to be about forgiveness and letting that go, okay? So um, lots going on, knowing you have to ask for help, okay? People will be there, and don't give up on your dreams. This is a result card. This is an amazing card, okay? This is an amazing card. So you're going to find the resources here for the dreamer. You're going to find that you'll be able to take that leap of faith and things are going to improve for you. And yes is the answer to your question, okay? Well, I wish you a great remainder to today, my friends, and a wonderful, optimistic month of November to look forward to. And know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you. Hope to see some of you book an appointment with me for this sale. I don't run sales very often. Often it's only once a year. So I would hope that you could capitalize on that. Three questions for $40. And it may take half an hour to do that reading, depending on what my guides and all the cards that do come out. So please take advantage of that beautiful sale I'm offering. I'll see you again in December. And have a great day.